Hey everyone, my name is Tom Trevor and welcome back to Red Dead Redemption 2. I'm super excited because now we finally have access to open world. So now the question remains, what are we going to do next? Where are we going to go? Who are we going to rob? Who are we going to hog time most importantly? All these questions will soon be answered by my ADHD tendencies right now. Alright, here we are back in camp. What to do today? Alright, we've got... We've got a few missions that we can go to. So we've got Uncle over here. We've got, I believe I saw Reverend Swanson. Who's over here? Javier. And then Reverend. Yeah, okay. So. I think first things first, we got to go into Valentine. And we got to just, oh, hey, what's up, Kieran? Kieran, what's up? What do you think of your new home? Let me go now, please. Oh, oh no, no, do. no. We ain't letting you go, Kieran. Let's pat the horse. I need to pat I need to pat my horse. Alright, boy. Yeah, good boy. Alright. You good pets. Dutch, how's it going? How's it going, man? Hey there, Dutch. Warm, dry, and nobody's shooting at me. A marked improvement. Indeed. Well, I can't, can't argue with that. Who's Jack? Let's go say hi to Jack. This, uh, Sadie? Yeah, Sadie. I just wanted to say I'm sorry about your husband. Your home. He was worth a hundred of you thieves and murderers. Whoa! Uh, no oh, okay. That's a little harsh. Where's Jack? Let me go say hi to Jack. You're old enough to start pulling your I accidentally out. pressed antagonize. Uh oh. Are you being mean? I'm only kidding around. You think you're funny. I'm sorry, Jack. <laughs> I didn't mean to start off a conversation like that. I meant to hit R and accidentally pressed F. <laughs> That's on me. That's on me. Alright. Now that we've talked to everyone, see how they're doing, let's go ahead and meet up with Javier in town. I will come back for... Oh, well, the uncle mission's right here, I guess. We'll just go ahead and do it. We'll go talk to this fool. Ow! Oh, oh, oh. Careful not to work yourself to death there, uncle. I was thinking. Yeah, it's called it lumbago. Well? Well, eventually. So, while the rest of us are busy stealing, killing, lying, fighting to try to survive, you get to think all day. Well, it's a strange world we live in, Arthur Morgan. Do you want to <laughs> head into town? See if we can find anything out. Sure. I got some errands to run. Great. Go check the horses already. <sighs> oh no, he you has to take work. Man in town. You take us too? Well, what you got planned? Nothing. We'll find something for y'all to do. We always do. We're bored out of our minds. Been cooped up here for two weeks now. Karen's about ready to murder Grimshaw. <laughs> well, can Miss Grimshaw spare you? <sighs> can Miss Grimshaw spare you? What's <laughs> happening to you, Arthur? Three young, healthy women want you to take them a robin. and you're worried about house chores. Let's go. Fair enough. You got me. Come on in. <laughs> <laughs> I can't believe we're going to see civilization. Feels civilization. Like we did. Yeah, yeah, Valentine. <laughs> Very embodiment of civilization. <laughs> ladies are going to love it. Okay, then. Let's go. All right. Out to the trees here, then take a left. Will do. Why are you telling me where to go, Uncle? Just what do I listen to you? What's wrong with that guy? Well, that's unfortunate. I like how there's just a horse sitting here. Well, I got lumbago. Very serious. Oh, very serious, Uncle. Very serious. All right, I'll help. All right, I'll see what's going on. How do I get off? Go on. Here we go. He's an old man. Lumbago, really? <laughs> Lumbago. All right there, friend. Oh, hey, you couldn't help me get my other horse back from over there, could you? 
Which one? This one? Okay, well, I can't run for this one. Come on. Come on. Don't run. Yeah, Uncle, I'm a gentleman. Come on, horsey. There we go. All right, bud, let's get you back to your uh, saddle. Here. Here you go. Action to the world I impact your honor level and nah, change how nah, people in the really. world interact nah, with you. Positive actions. Impress the women. <laughs> well, anyway. <laughs> Positive interactions will make you more favorable. Good to know. Okay, let's get back on. Come on let's head back let's into go. town. To <laughs> You're turning into a regular old fairy godmother there, Arthur. What's that supposed to mean? It means you got a heart. A small one, perhaps, hidden deep inside, but a real one? A small heart? No way. Blizzards have hearts. Well, Arthur, I'm proud of you. Oh, thank you. If you lot hadn't been here, I probably would have robbed him. <laughs> well, you did it. <laughs> Where are we going, anyways? Oh. Smell those sheep. <laughs> or is that Uncle? Oh, it's oh, definitely Uncle. Funny. This is a nice little here. town. It's been a long time since I've been back in Valentine. Pick up some bounties there, Arthur. Heaven forbid you put your head on the line. Yeah, well, that's a young man's game. <laughs> Ooh, yes. We can get up to some mischief here, all right. Just remember, keep a low profile. Will you remember that, though, Arthur? Probably not. Let's park up down the end there, near the stable. Yeah, right here. All right. Here we are, just like I said. Cultural center of civilization. <laughs> Man at its finest. Uncle, what are we doing? Well, we're going to do what any self-respecting maniac does. Put the women to work. <laughs> With pleasure. We'll start at the saloon. Okay, just stay out of trouble. Don't get yourselves noticed. Right, I need to get something from the stores. Okay, well, we'll see you at the general store when you're done. Come on, ladies. Imagine we're in Paris. Come on. Imagine Paris in Paris. So All right, that's well. how you see yourself, is it? A maniac? Well, in my youth, I used to be known as the one-shot kid. There's no way you were known as the okay. one-shot kid, Uncle. I just I'm not doubt it. Why? You are a sad man, Arthur Morgan. You're well, a sadder I mean, man, <laughs> Uncle. Desperately. You're my favorite parasite. That's more like it. No. Ringworm's my favorite parasite. You're my second favorite parasite. Very funny. I it ride. is very funny. <laughs> Ringworm, then rats with the plague, then you. Shut up. You just keep getting lower on the to... list. On. Stop talking now. Morning. What are we buying here? So... What do you need? I'm the shop can purchase right from the shelves by start. looking at the items in the holding are. While we're waiting on the women. Always thinking ahead, ain't you? That was browsing catalog. Why don't you out a cigar? A cigar sure. always focuses the mind, I find. What are you saying? Well, you seem a little scattered, Arthur. Trust old uncle. Let me know if you have any questions. Why would I trust you? Whiskey's on the top shelf, nearest the door. Of cures, ammunition. I only got 30 bucks in my name. Personally, what am I getting? Some arrows. Well, how's my. Oh, I could get some revolvers. Cartridges. Alright, anyway, let me get a cigar now that I'm done purchasing stuff and I'm almost out of money. Give me a cigar. Okay, if you're done, I'll meet you outside. Let me examine I these. Mmm, that's a premium looking cigar. Ah, uh, this should do the trick. Yep, that's right. fine whiskey. That should do us. Let's go wait for the mouse. Alright, here we go. Now oh, this fool's coming to wait with me. Here's to your good health, my sir. <laughs> 
The only thing you're good for is providing me whiskey. <laughs> this time in my career, I pictured myself being married to an heiress. Well, let me tell you, that picture is a little, Jane, little warped. I think I got something good. What? What? I snuck into this fancy house, acted like a servant girl. Usually works. Someone was saying her sister was taking a trip from taking New a York trip. or someplace. <gasps> New York. Jane, full of rich tourists heading to San Denis and then cruising off to Brazil. Okay. Mm. A train laden with baggage and passing through a bit of deserted country at night as to get like to the, the sounds of this. Of the tides in some place called Scarlet Meadows. Yeah, I know it. Yeah, yeah, it's right out in their new Hanover. Right, it's real quiet yeah. out there. Sounds good. Yeah. Where's Tilly and Karen? I think at the hotel. They were picking up some oh, drunken no. fellas that they was going to rob. Why? It seemed easy. Oh, oh boy. For quite a while. <clears throat> I guess I'll go see if there's any trouble. Okay. Let's go. There's Tilly over there. That does not look ideal. Excuse me. Let's go save Tilly. You can go kiss a damn snake for all I care. Get off me. Get Let her go. Off her. Get your you? hands off Tilly. Get the hell off of her, you son of a bitch. Hey. Hey, take it easy. There's no problem here. There will be if you don't there get out of here right now. You want to go? Draw that gun of yours and I'll draw mine five times faster. Just get lost. I ain't you right now. Go away with Uncle and Mary Beth. They're across the street. Okay. Thanks, Arthur. You're welcome. Now, nah, time to go find Karen, I think. Uncle! Look after her. I'm gonna go see about Karen in the hotel. I think at this point in time, Tilly should look after her Uncle. Can I help you, sir? I'm looking for a girl who came in here earlier with a drunk feather, mid twenties, blonde. You'd remember her. Yeah, they're in two B upstairs. Are you uh, a friend of his? A friend of hers. I like how I ask about the girl, and then in turn he asks, "Are you a friend of his?" All right. Well, let's go see no what the deal is. Now, I make no guarantees. I make no guarantees that there will not be trouble. All right. Well, in we go. Hey, how are you? A friend of hers. Get out of here, buddy. I pay. They pay to hit her, you goddamn animal. Well, Come here we go. Here. Oh. Talking now, huh? oh, I killed him. What the oh, hell are you doing <laughs> I didn't mean to kill him. Not very well. It's okay. I got okay. the rest of his money. Fine. You sure? Whoa! Whoa! <laughs> <laughs> what was wrong Man. with that mirror? Hang on, let's get a replay Stupid on that one. Bastard, fine. You sure? Stupid bastard was boasting about the bank. The bank? Sure, I know small town banks are usually a waste of time, but this is a livestock town. There's lots of cash sometimes. Okay. Keep investigating. I will. I hope uh, everything's okay up there. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Everything's fine. Everything's fine. Don't worry. Um, after you. You might need to clean up in room two B. I'm sure. I think the gentleman. Thank you, Arthur. Might have made a mess up there. Don't like being saved, but when I have to be. I understand. You okay? Sure. He only punched me. <sighs> Arthur punched him a lot harder. Yeah. All right, then. Yeah. Hey, I might have killed him. I'm not entirely sure. Looking at us. Weren't you in Blackwater a few weeks back? Me? No, sir. Ain't from there. Well, you were. Well, I definitely saw you oh, with a bunch of fellas. On. Me? No. Impossible. Listen, buddy, come here for a minute. I saw you. Come here. Come on. Get. Well. I don't like this. Me Shit. Man. Go get the girls home. I'm gonna go have a word with our friend. Be Time careful, to go get him. Arthur. Just a word. Just a word. Just following it. You stay away from me. Get back here right now. Oh, that's right. We went through the barn. We need to talk, pal. Come on. Mister, please. I'm sorry. You piss off the wrong guy. You stop right here. Come on. Yeah. Where are you going? 
All right, well. Why are you telling lies about me? No, no. I, I, I got it wrong, partner. I got it very wrong. Uh-huh. Yeah, me. yeah. You got it very wrong. I ain't never been in black water. Then why are you chasing me? I don't I like my name. Fortunate face. Yes. yes I don't like my name. You'd too. smother through the mud. Now, please pull me up. Please. I made a mistake. I'm sorry. Mm, you did, in fact, make a mistake, but it was a pretty big one. Question is, do I save this feller? I'm begging you. All right, you win. All right. I'm feeling generous today. You okay? You gained partner? honor. Continue to perform positive actions no. to become more honorable. You're lucky. I want the honor system to be high. I'm a mess. Yeah, no, we can see that. You ain't dead. There is that. Jimmy Brooks. Arthur Morgan. For both of us, if we pretend this never happened. Well, I agree. You saved my life. You're a good man, and I, uh, here. Well, you I ain't a pen? good man. It's one of them steel ones. Oh, steel hmm. pen? That's very kind of you. But I'm not a good man, Jimmy Brooks. Not usually. You see, I was in Blackwater. I killed people. And maybe I should have killed you. Just maybe. Should but I should have I? killed you, Jimmy Brooks? Me? I never saw you. Not, mm. not now, not, not never. I think we have an understanding. Of course we do. Jimmy Brooks. <laughs> I will remember that. I've got a good memory. I haven't. <laughs> I haven't. Not not one lick. Not one sense in this year old mind. Bye bye now. Bye bye, Jimmy Brooks. Thanks for the pen. Come on. Come on. What? You have a nice day now, sir. What I fail. Find Karen in 45 seconds. Yeah. Alright, well, I ain't going back to replay that now. Hang on. Saw a plant. Need to pick it up and analyze it. Is this a good plant or a bad plant? Let's find out. Oh, it's a carrot. Okay. Well, great. I'm sure Pierce can make a nice stew out of a single carrot. I did not mean to do that. I am so sorry. <laughs> I pressed the wrong button. Whoa, girl, easy now. I am so sorry. <laughs> I keep hitting the wrong buttons. Let, let me get off. Let me get off very quickly. I need to pet you. I need to pet you. I'm so sorry. I am so, <laughs> so sorry. I did not mean. Easy now. Whoa. Let me feed you this carrot. Here, girl. Oh, it's classic oat cake. Okay. I'll take it. Easy, girl. I am so sorry. Okay, let's let's go ahead and have to ride back into town. I want to go meet up with Javier. Hey, there's something happening over here at uh, the saloon. Ooh, we should go check that out. Before we do Javier's mission. I am all for mysterious question marks. What a lovely little town. Give me a dime. Give me something. Hmm. Who are you? Brother. I'm too old to get a job, mister. Way too old. You're also missing an arm. Can't we be friends? Sure. We can be friends. Sure. I'm so happy. I ain't had a friend in a long time. Long, What's your name, friend? Long time. My last friend died. Weren't my fault. 
They said it was. I can assume your line of work. Was wrong. It's fun being with you, Mister. I'm literally can just standing second, here. Mister? Can I? What? Sure. <laughs> Make sure nobody's looking to okay, see this man on man action. That felt good. It's nice to be held sometimes. Well, we used to hold each other in the war. That sounds a little fruity. Sad eyes, mister. Like you've seen sad things. Well, Remember I kindness. did just go into town with Uncle. That was pretty sad. <sighs> Is this it? Was that it? Oh, wait, no. It's covered a stranger. They are marked with a question mark and will give you tasks perform. Okay. What do you do? Maybe I should not have done that, but. Sir, try to remember what really happened at Sylvia Saloon. Oh, is this uh, the guy who's just learning about the gunslingers? Bunk, you know, it's just a lot of bunk. It's not bunk, Mr. Calloway, sir. It's history. Ain't history. Ha! <laughs> Put that in your fucking book, Plato. This is Jim Boy Calloway. Noblest the of men and Jim a woman. Jim Boy Calloway. Who? The gunslinger. Fastest left-handed draw that ever drew breath. He once killed 14 men in a fight at hmm. Lucy Hollow. What are you Doesn't look for? like he, uh... What do you mean? Well, I reckon right now, kill him yourself. I don't want to kill him. I want to deify him. He's a god. Deify? That's an interesting word. How's that going? I think I'd prefer the duel. Either I'd kill him and be able to be Baltimore's finest ever gunslinger, or he'd kill me and I could be set free from ever having to speak to him again. Well, you're starting wow. to understand something very important. What's that? The joys of gunslinging. It's win-win. Freedom or glory. That's brilliant. I'm going to write that down, if I may. Be my guest. <laughs> What's Freedom your name? Freedom or glory. I don't have a name. But you are a gunslinger. Not really. I mean, folks who need shooting, I try and shoot in the back. All that other stuff, it's, well, bunk. But you fought duels. Once upon a time. Once upon yeah. a time. And you ain't interested in fame. Not really. I don't think so. Strange. But you like fortune. I need money, sure. Okay. And forgive me, mister, if I seem a little desperate. I am a little desperate. <laughs> At book, least you admit it. I've got to make a thing of it. And, well... There's a whole list of gunfighters, legends, oh, every legends. last one. And you got pictures Emmett of every Granger, single one of them? Flacco Hernandez. Flacco Hernandez. Billy Midnight. Billy Midnight. Black Ooh, Bell. He's got a pistol that I want. Maybe you can go and speak to them. Ask them about Callaway. Any of them get uppity. Shoot them. I can't well, believe I just said that. But <laughs> you want me to go? You want me to shoot a legendary sad, gunslinger? Sad, fools like him. Ask if he was the greatest, and then if they get uppity, shoot him. Does sound a lot worse than it did in my head. How much you paying? Yeah, a lot. Half the proceeds of the book. If you help me get it written, I'll see what I can do. Ha! Oh, get photos. Okay. And I got a camera on the back of those portraits that should lead you to him. I'll see what I can find out. I imagine we'll be stuck here upon your return. Here How long do you... Flop house. How quickly do you think this is going to take? Okay. So we got a bunch of pictures now. Trading cards, I guess you could say, of these epic gunslingers. How do I call my horse again? I forget. It's fine, I'll run. I need to increase my stamina anyways. Alright, Javier, what's going down at the saloon? I gotta stop busting through doors. This is getting a little. <laughs> this is getting a little much. What are you gentlemen up to? Arthur, Arthur, come here, come here, come over here. I want you to meet our friends. <laughs> Pleased to meet you. Well, ain't you just a tough as teak mountain man? Oh, you be quiet, Anastasia. Anyone can tell this one is a pussy cat. Exactly. Yes, wow. he's a pussy cat. How dare you? Arthur. Whatever you say. How much you cost, anyway? Well, ain't that a nice way to talk to a lady? Oh, You're a lady? I didn't know I was talking to a lady. <laughs> Excuse me. <laughs> well, I must say... You got away with words. Fine way with the women, amigo. 
Yeah, regular dandy and a charm. <laughs> Where's Bill? Oh, man. I dread to think about it. Hey, hey, hey. Well, speak hey, of the devil. Watch where you're going. Take it Are easy, you about pal. to kiss that guy Take or punch you? Huh? Oh, and we have our answer. <laughs> well, great. Come on. None of that. We don't take that here. How do I block again? Oh, it's R to block. R to block. I'm gonna completely forget the melee controls. Oh, no. None of that. We don't... We don't take that. Give me my hat back. Who do I help out? Give him the old one, two. Oh, great. Come here, you little greaser. Big Tom is here. Time to teach you a lesson. No. Hey, 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 hey. We don't accept this here. There we go. Get off him, Big Tom. I don't know why I'm calling him Big Tom. He's now Big Tom now. Uh oh. Well then. Never been called Pretty Boy before. That's the wrong button. Okay. Come on. Ow, none of that. I'm fine. Come on. And I'll crack your nuts open. What you gonna do after that? Ow. No, I ain't, no, I ain't, no, I ain't, no, I ain't. It's actually you going down in the mud. Come on. I am very close to losing this fight. I ain't gonna... I ain't gonna let that happen. No. Hang on, hang on. Time out, time out, time out. Nope, can't time out. Great. Come on. Let me break free! Let me break free! Quickly! Quickly! I'm out of help! Okay, I'm back. I'm back. I'm back. Yes! Yield! Yield, motherfucker, yield! Stop! Stop! Please! Why? I beg you, stop. Give me one good reason. He threw me out a window. Already, surely that's enough. What business is it of yours? No business. <clears throat> no business, sir, but please, I beg you. Burr. Well, right now I'm covered in mud. Making new friends again, I see, Arthur. Oh, great. Look who we found sniffing about. Josiah Trelawney. What are you doing here, Trelawney? <laughs> well, I thought you'd gone to New York. And miss all this glamour. You must be joking. How are you? Well, quite well indeed. I went to Blackwater looking for you gentlemen. Only Not to find your faces on the wanted there, posters. Ah, Javier and Charles. I've missed you. And Bill looking as well as can be. Uh-huh. Gentlemen, always a pleasure. You're right. We ain't too popular in Blackwater. We left a lot of money there. And young Sean, it seems. <gasps> Sean's Sean, alive! You found him. <clears throat> yes, I have. He's being held by some bounty hunters, trying to see how much money the government will pay them. Well, that's I fair. Now we gotta get him back. In Blackwater, but there's talk of them moving. Well, if we step foot in Blackwater... Uh, ah! <laughs> well, then we're dead men for sure. 
There'll be Pinkertons all over the place, but if he's alive, we gotta try. We gotta go back for for our it's buddy Sean. Want, Dutch. Always is. Charles, go find out what you can carefully. Josiah, take Javier. Arthur, go get yourself cleaned up. Join them when you're ready. Well, what Will about do. me? <clears throat> you well, exactly. What about you? What does that mean? Oh, Bill, come on. Bill, you started this all. Well, that's about as clean as we're going to get until we can get back to camp. Let me guess. Don't take a hit. Is that... Was that the goal? Defeat Tommy within 1 minute and 30 seconds. Okay. Well, great. How do I call my horse? Nope, that's not what I meant to do. Come on. Hey. What? What are you doing? What are you doing, Arthur? Hey, mister. Okay, then. How did I call my horse? Oh, it's H. There we go. So, you know what? I think before we leave town, I gotta go buy some guns. I gotta see what the gun store has. I'm not... I'm not... Well, I'm not gonna, not gonna burst in the store. Uh, welcome. Well, it's really the catalog you want to look at. It's got everything in here. Okay. Well, it's browse the catalog. What can I forward with? Oh wait, you're that fellow who had to fight with Tommy outside of Smithfield's? No. Yep. People nope. are still talking about that fight. Well, right. it only happened five yeah, minutes ago. Enough. Now there's Tommy. Anyway, how can I help you today? Just need to look at your catalog. What do you got? Oof, 50? Damn, guns are expensive these days. Oh, wait, but I already own it. Never mind. Volcanic pistol, 150. Schofield revolver, 84. Semi automatic pistol, 210. Monster pistol, yeah, none of these are good. At least I can't get any of these right now. Actually, hang on. Can I upgrade a holster? It's 45. Dang it. Unfortunate. All right. Know. Let's go ahead and what current tasks do we have? Let's take a look. So I think what we have right now is Reverend Swanson by the train station, Leopold Strauss. Hosea Matthews and Kieran. Let's uh, let's see what Kieran has to offer. Sorry, sir. I didn't know you were standing right in front of me. Oh, I lost my hat. No, when did that happen? That's not what I meant to do. Where is my hat? Well, great. I don't have my hat anymore. Hello. What was that? Just saw an icon on the map. There's a... Hey, that's not what I meant to do. I meant to get off the horse. There's something here. Oh! Well then. That is uh, indeed a sight. Is that money? What is that? Anything down here? No, it's just a bunch of organs. I thought I saw something shiny. Look on my works. Is that it? Can I? At least let the guy down. Yeesh. Not a pretty sight. Alright, well. Great. That happened. Okay, good to know. How's it going, Karen? How are you? Covered from that business in the hotel? Oh, yeah. So we gonna hit that bank I told you about. We need more info. You didn't get any info. Where is he? Each day personal makes do, you can eat from the pot. Which is where? It's right here, isn't it? Yeah, sure, I'll eat something. For going up to do Kieran's thing. Am I not allowed to eat? Bruh. Let me eat. Or do I need to be on this side of the pot? Oh yeah, I know I need to be on this side of the pot. Okay. 
<laughs> that makes more sense. That that does make more sense. Mmm, I love the schlop of the camp. Wow, this looks absolutely awful. Well, this is healing my cores, so at least it does something. All right, what you want, you fool? Mercy, come on, speak. Mercy, don't cry, boy. Speak about your gang. <laughs> <laughs> I can't. Why can't you? <laughs> Tell us. Why can't you? Boy. Whoa, hold your horses there. It's paying a social a call. Cat has got our friend here's tongue. I was thinking Mr. Williamson could have a word. You ready to talk, boy? I told you, mister. I told all of you. I don't know nothing, okay? They ain't no friends of mine. I just been ridden with them for a Horse while. Oh shit. You see, we heard that part, so how about you tell the truth? That's what you want me to do. Hurt him, so the next time he opens his mouth, it is to tell us what is going on! Ah! Who am I kidding? One of O'Driscoll's boys couldn't open his mouth, but he'd tell a lie. Mm. Screw it. Let's just have some fun. Let's huh? throw him off the edge. Geld him. Oh, yeah! <laughs> What's he doing? Where's he going? <laughs> oh, <laughs> he got so worry. excited over it. <laughs> Just gonna cause you trouble. <laughs> you know, in Imperial Rome, we clipping him. Phoenix was among the happiest and most loyal of courtiers. Oh, you kidding me, right? Of course. You sick bastards! Oh, Ooh, it's hot as well. Well, you are gonna talk. The only question is now or after we got these little fellas off. <laughs> okay, okay, listen. I know where old Driscoll was holed up, and you're right. He don't like you any more than you like him. He's at wow. six point cabin. Uh, I'll take you there. Serious. I don't like him. I mean, I like him even less than I like you. No offense. Oh, none taken. <laughs> okay, then, partner. Uh, uh, Why don't you take a few of us up there right now? I got this, Dutch. Should be fun. All right, you. Oh, good. He got his pants pulled up Let's now. Go. <laughs> I was afraid we'd be walking with uh, his bare ass out. Let's both hope you ain't trying to trick us, O'Driscoll. <laughs> I ain't no old Driscoll. Yeah, that's sure what you say. Alright, let's go. Let's go, Karen. You better be right. Otherwise, your head's on the line. And your balls. Sharing saddle with an old Driscoll. Who'd have thought? How many times I gotta say? I ain't an old Driscoll. You sure you gotta. Like you smell like. God damn. <laughs> you smell like one, too. To be fair, he's been tied like up. Shit. That's right. Boy, are you high. Morgan, you got throwing knives in your saddlebag. Doug yep. said that you might... I was asked to give them. And I'm doing you the further courtesy of telling you about it. So you Next slipped them in my bag? Me something. How about you give it to me instead of hiding it somewhere? Hope yeah, wait, so... You... comes up to mention it. Last goddamn favor I do you. Hey. That ain't a favor. <laughs> See, old Driscoll, if this is how he treats his friends, imagine what he does to You know what, he's enemies. got a point. I got an inkling of what y'all do to your enemies when you put those gelding tongs to my parts. Well, and we'll put them back you there. You got those tongs? I got a knife. Won't be so clean, but it'll do the job. Good to know. Keep that in your mind, young feller. Right at the forefront of you. You know... You all ain't that different from the old Driscolls. How dare you? you just say? I've been watching you How these weeks. How freaking and, uh, dare you? Okay, what's the plan? Who knows if this son of a bitch we got with us is talking true, but if it's what he says it is, and comb O'Driscoll's hair, we can end years of fight. Here and now. Here and now. Oh yeah, let me get my thing here, and I think I have some throwing knives. Throwing knives. Beautiful. This is it. The cabin's just the other side of this hill. Okay. Off your horses. Let's go. You gonna get them knives. I, I have easy. them. Shut your mouth, Bill. I know what I'm doing. I do have them, right? Yeah, okay. Come on. Okay. Take it off. So we're just gonna kill someone mid piss? Alright. Let's do this. What are we doing about the pisser, Morgan? One by the tree. I am going to send Bill. He's yours, Williamson. Okay. I got him. 
<gasps> you know what's really quiet? A knife. Yep, that's exactly what I'm thinking. Damn it, did I just... All my knives are getting stuck in the tree. Damn it. <laughs> damn it. Damn it. How do I... There we go. That's how I do it. Let me turn the other way. I gotta reload my gun. Pull out the revolver. There we go. Move in. Okay, now it's time to use the long arm. Come on! Oh, please, none of that killed him. Let me get a miracle tonic in. Where are my miracle tonics? There you go. Hey, you said Cohen's being cabin. I'll check. You look out here. Let me reload my guns. Come, get out here. Well, who did that? You all right? Sure. Thank you. <laughs> Just on the ground. Come on, Arthur, get up. Come on, Driscoll. He ain't here. You Where is the fucker? Come here. What? You set us up. No, I didn't. You did. Come on, Driscoll ain't here. He was here, I swear. I swear. I mean, if I was setting you up, I, I wouldn't have <laughs> saved your life. It's a good point, Arthur. Hmm. All right, then, go on. Get out of here. Hey? I won't kill you. I didn't set you up. You're lost. Shit, lost. I'm letting you run away. Now, go on. Get out of here. That's as good as killing me. Out there, without you. Without me. Just was going to lose his mind about this. <laughs> so? What? So I'm one of you now. <sighs> well, great. Now Didn't we got a stowaway. All right, then. But I'm warning you. Oh, hey, I know. Come on, let's get to camp. So you got the cash then? What cash? Yeah, there's usually some cash in the chimney. I'll check it. Rest of you boys, get to camp quick. See, Arthur? I ain't so bad. <laughs> Make sure Bill, none of you was followed. You tell Dutch old Karen ain't worth killing. Just yet. Yeah, right Just yet. Are. All right, let's go find this uh, sneaky little cash. All right, let's search the chimney finally for this cash. At least you got something tucked away. 600 bucks? Damn! Okay. Gang share 300. Yep, okay. What? Oh, I got bronze? Come on. What'd I miss? Silently kill four of Driscoll's? Yeah, I kind of screwed that one up. Alright, let's get back to the camp. <laughs> Not again! Not again! No, I keep hitting the wrong button! I am so sorry, Tennessee Walker. Okay. Let's get back to camp and then we'll go ahead and we'll end the episode. Found a buyer for the stolen bonds yet. Good to know. Okay, we'll do. For now, let's go ahead and let's get out of here. As for you guys, I will see you back at camp. Whoosh. Uh-oh. Uh-oh. Wait. Yeah. We gotta get out of here. I was trying to do a transition effect, but that's not gonna work now. There's been a crime reported. The law cannot see you. If they continue if you continue to evade them, they will eventually stop looking for you. That's the law. That is indeed the law. I don't know if it was a wise decision to get to go through town, but oh well. That's the law. Okay. Okay. We're. <laughs> well, this just this just keeps going from bad to worse. <laughs> I'm sorry, horsey. Now you're covered in mud. Are you okay? All right, let's get on. All right, and we are back at camp finally. Woo! Yeah, I know. I know, Hosea. We can, we can't go. We can't do stuff now. First off, it's late. Second, I gotta end the episode. All right. Well, this is where we're ending today's episode, guys. If you liked it, 
make sure to give it that thumbs up rating so that you guys like it and you want to see more Red Dead Redemption 2. And hey, why not try subscribing to see more fun content just like this? Anyway, thank you all so much for joining me today on this episode. I'll catch you all in the next one. Bye-bye.